Hi everyone, my name is Diana Still, Product Marketing Director at Cohesity, and today I'm going to show you how easy it is to purchase Cohesity Data Protect delivered as a service through AWS Marketplace and how to back up your Microsoft 365 data. First, you want to go to the Cohesity Data Protect delivered as a service listing in the Marketplace. The way I'm going to get there is simply by typing Cohesity into the search engine and then having the listing pop up right here. When you find the listing, I do want to encourage you to review the pricing that we have, which can be found here. We do price this upfront based on the number of terabytes you want to back up. And I encourage you to also review our end user licensing agreement, which can be found right here. Once you reviewed all the information, go ahead and click subscribe. And then you will be asked to log in with your marketplace credentials. Uh, if you don't have Marketplace credentials yet, you can easily create them by clicking on here, create a new AWS account. Once your purchase of Data Protect delivered as a service is complete, you will be receiving an email that includes your Helios login and credentials. Once you receive those, uh, please go ahead and go to helios.cohesity.com and pop in your credentials so you can go ahead and log into the interface. As you can see here, I popped in my username and password and I'm going to go ahead and get started. After you logged into Helios, you will see the Data Protect Delivered as a Service dashboard page. We want to go ahead and uh, scroll over to Sources so we can review the list of the possible application sources we want to back up. As you can see here, uh, these are all of the data sources that are currently being backed up, and you're also able to tell which region these data sources are located in, when the last backup has occurred, and more. To add a new data source, let's say we want to back up Microsoft 365, let's go ahead and click on the register button on the top right. The drop down will let you select which type of sources you want to back up, virtual machine, NAS, and many more. Uh, since we are looking to back up Microsoft 365, let's go ahead and register that source. Here I'm going to put in my username. I'm going to put in my password. I'm going to click Enable Authentication. I'm going to select my app ID. And I'm going to select my secret key. I'm also going to select here the applications that should be discovered. So mailboxes, OneDrive, site, and Teams. And I'm going to select the destination, uh, which will be US East. And then we click Register. So now if you scroll down through sources, you will be able to see our newly registered Microsoft 365 source. Now let's go ahead and create a policy to back up one of the available workloads for Microsoft 365. As you can see here, we have 19 that are unprotected and zero that are protected. So we're going to go ahead and click on the source. And here you can see all of the different types of workloads within that data source uh, from mailboxes, OneDrive, sites, and teams. Uh, for this example, I'm going to go ahead and back up just a single mailbox workload. In this example, I'm going to go ahead and use Grady Archie. So I'm going to click on right next to his name. And then as you can see here, this button pops up for protect and I'm going to click on that. Now, something I want to point out is that for most users, they do want to back up data about once a day and retain it for 30 days. So just as a quick reminder, by default, your subscription for Data Protect Delivered as a Service does include that 30 day retention period. Uh, for this example, I'm going to go ahead and select our Microsoft 365 policy. Uh, for this policy, you're going to go ahead and back up this data once a day and it will be retained for 30 days. And I'm going to go ahead and click protect. So as you can see here, uh, the mailbox is being protected. And if we go back to source, what we can see that one of the workloads in this case, that one mailbox we protected is now being protected and you can monitor to see how the backup is going and pull all the necessary information you have. So I would like to thank you for joining us today to see how easy it is to purchase Cohesity Data Protect Delivered as a Service in AWS Marketplace and also how to set up backup for your Microsoft 365 workloads. Uh, thank you again for your time and we hope to see you soon on one of our demos.